This does not typically happen to Donald Trump. But when he arrived yesterday at his rally in New Hampshire, protesters were chanting, lock him up and Trump's team hurried him inside. This is video from Right Side Broadcasting Network compiled by Midas Touch. This is not usually the welcome that Trump gets, at least not this close to him when he gets to events. All right. So they hurry him inside amid hostile chance of lock him up. And then on the way out, not much better, including someone chanting lock him up and someone on a megaphone. You have to listen for it at the end of this clip. Someone on a megaphone saying Donald Trump is going to jail, which is the, the optics and the the ambiance here really are, are unequal. <laughs> We're going to go walk to the press van. I'm not sure where our press van is at. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and toss to a commercial. Uh, we'll be live as we're here in New Hampshire. <laughs> Donald Trump is going to jail. Now, I don't know that that's true, but hearing that as Trump walks around and talks to people is pretty funny. Also surrounding the speech that Trump gave, Trump claimed that he wasn't indicted, which comes as a surprise to four different criminal jurisdictions which indicted Trump. But here is Trump asked about his attorney, Sidney Powell, pleading guilty. And Trump says he wasn't indicted. Confusing, right? To hear that. I thought he was. Mr. President, you said Sidney Powell wasn't your attorney. Are you concerned that you won't be covered by attorney client privilege? No, not at all. I'm, uh, we did nothing wrong. We did nothing. This is all Biden indictments and impeachments. And this is all about Biden. He can't do anything right. The only thing they know how to do is cheat on elections and election fraud. Uh, this is all Biden stuff. All of these indictments that you see. I was never indicted. Practically never heard the word. It wasn't a word that registered. He wasn't indicted. And this is, again, the fact that reality doesn't matter. When you are a cult leader and you have cult followers, you can say whatever. I wasn't indicted. Well, but sir, as they love to say to him, here's the documents that show you were indicted. No, 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 no. I wasn't actually indicted. Um, and then lastly, here is Donald Trump saying the only person that really can make Speaker of the House happen at this point would be Jesus Christ himself. Something's going to happen. It'll be positive. It'll end up working well. I'm staying above it. I have to right now. But I've uh, spoken to just about all the candidates and quite a few of them. And they're terrific people. You know, that four threshold is very tough. It's a very tough thing, no matter who it is. I said, there's only one person that can do it all the way. You know who that is? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus came down and said, I want to be speaker. He would do it. Other than that, I haven't seen I haven't seen anybody that can guarantee it. But at some point, go. I think we're going uh, to have somebody pretty soon. Well, yeah, at some point there will be a speaker of the House. I doubt that it will be Jesus. So another humiliating day on the campaign trail, the pressure clearly getting to Trump today, quite literally as we speak, Trump expected in court in New York City to face his own former lawyer and friend of the show, Michael Cohen, who is expected to testify against Trump. We will see if that happens. We will have coverage tomorrow. One of our sponsors today is Cube. Cube is a budgeting and banking app combined. No more guessing if you have money for the things you need and want. No more having to categorize each transaction to keep up with your budget. It works like this. You split your money into budget categories called cubes, groceries, car, etc. Let's say you've budgeted a thousand dollars a month for groceries. You're at the grocery store. Your bill comes to two hundred and fifty dollars. You select your grocery cube in the app that'll make your grocery budget available on your debit card. Make the purchase. And as soon as you run the card, what's left for your grocery budget goes back into the grocery cube. And that is it. The cube card has zero available balance unless the cube is open, which prevents theft. 
Every purchase is logged by category automatically in the app. You can share it between family members. Cube offers cards for kids so you can stay a step ahead of your budget instead of always spending from one big pot, not knowing where you are. The average Cube user saves four hundred and forty dollars a month by eliminating mindless spending. You can try the Cube premium or family plan free for two months at davidpackman.com slash money. The link is down below.